Hey guys, and thank you for joining me for something a little different this evening. I thought it might be fun to partake in some Hearthstone dungeon runs, which are kind of roguelike, randomized, uh, single player card game adventures within the game of Hearthstone. I've always liked this game since it released, but I've never been good at it, and I've never really played multiplayer because I feel that you sort of had to keep up with all the card releases and that kind of thing, and pay real money into it, and I kind of suck at the game. They started bringing out a bunch of single player adventures over the past couple of years and I always had a blast with this game mode, the dungeon run. So what we do is pick a hero. We start off with a uh, basic deck and we fight our way through eight bosses I think it is. Progressively um, more difficult each time. And we add relics and uh, new card boosters to our deck as we play. So I will preface this video by saying I really, really suck at this. I've uh, made it to the last boss a handful of times and I've never beaten it. I think I'm missing some basic Hearthstone understanding, um, but it's still a really fun time. And for example, I've never played as the priest. I've done like one or two as the druid, but I've done a whole heck of a lot as Jaina Proudmoore, the mage. Got it to level 29 basically just playing this game mode and I've never beaten it, so that's pretty sad, but I do enjoy my time with it, so let's get into the game. Don't expect any major wins or huge plays, but do enjoy some stress-free card gaming. Alrighty, this is a pretty decent opening hand, so I'm probably not going to mulligan. The first two also bosses, two or three, you sort of just wail on as quickly as you can. Um, because they only have 10 health and their monsters are usually pretty weak, so... but oh well. So we're just gonna go your face there. I kind of want to get more into this game now. Um, I don't know, I've always just been very mediocre at card games as much as I enjoy them. Except for sort of single player games like um, Slay the Spire or, or the uh, Pokemon trading card game on Game Boy. It just feels like uh, these bosses get very unfair as you head towards the latter half. Alright, so after the first boss we get to choose a treasure which will be basically a passive ability for the rest of our run. Permanent stealth I very much like 
because it means our minions um, cannot be targeted until they attack. However, it does counteract taunt, which means they can basically always attack our face. Glyph of Warding means enemy minions cost one more, but it's self-explanatory. That one's not too bad. And I do like Potion of Vitality, but I feel like I probably value it too highly, and it's not as good as I think it is. So, let's, um, Permanent Stealth is pretty good with Doomsayer, because it means if they get too far ahead in board control, I can pop this fella out there and, and kind of wipe it. Honestly, I'm going to try permanent stealth today. So now we get to pick a little booster of three cards. Arcane intellect, draw two cards, transform a minion into a 4-2 ball with charge. After your opponent plays a minion, transform it into a 1-1 sheep. I kind of like that. Heroic power. After you cast a spell, refresh your hero power. Inspire again, 2-2. Two, two. Give your other minions plus 1, plus 1. They're pretty good, I like those. It's a shame we didn't get the passive that just makes my hero power upgraded, because I honestly really like playing that build as well. And these aren't particularly interesting to me right now. I don't really like Arcane Intellect, but I do like these sort of polymorph cards, but... I think we might take Heroic Power. Next is Graves the Cleric. I also haven't played this in like a year. Also, so I'm probably going to be very rusty. Alright, so this is uh, pretty steep. That's basically <laughs> perfect mana curve there. One, two, three. And uh, perfect, I mean stealth. Permanent stealth is pretty good for the minions that I can boost up by casting spells or uh, inspiring. Or two health to all minions. Do I really care about that right now? Hmm. Oh wait, it's permanent stealth, so it doesn't wear off. So we just have to make sure we don't get anything that has taunt, because that would be a waste. What does this fellow do? Give a friendly minion plus two health. Yeah, not that big of a deal. We can play a secret here, we can do some damage. Honestly, I think I just keep going face. Because then, uh, yeah, I'm just not really doing that much damage. And I can heal with this fella. No point not casting this. As long as it doesn't hit him. Alright, and now we have lethal. Sometimes I wish you could auto play the first like two or three bosses because they 
very rarely, very, very rarely pose a threat. Alright, what have we got? Elementals. Deal 3 damage to a random enemy minion. 1-1, one, one, not very interesting. 3 damage to a minion could be pretty good though. If you played an elemental last turn, add a flame geyser to your hand. You can see what a flame geyser was. If you played an elemental last turn, gain taunt and divine shield. So divine shield would be good, but taunt is not that good with permanent stealth, funnily enough. Each turn this is in your hand, transform it into a random mage spell. Cast 8 spells that didn't start in your deck. See, I, I never knew how to, like, get that to work, because... <laughs> I don't know, I never have enough spells that don't start in my deck. Oh, that's probably that dude. Discover a spell. Honestly, that's not very interesting to me. What about unique? Flame guys are deal 2 damage, add a 1 2 elemental to your hand. Black cat, spell damage plus 1, battle cry if your deck has only odd cost cards, draw a card. Useless. If your deck has no duplicates, fully heal your hero. That's pretty much the only useful one in that. Do we want um, permanent stealth on these? It might go unique. Overseer Mogark. Okay, this dude's pretty annoying. He like just chucks dynamite everywhere and so do all his minions. Probably should have got rid of Fireball, but yeah, it's not too bad. What does this do? Exactly. One damage to a friendly minion to attack. Okay. So we can't do anything this turn, which is unfortunate, but that's fine. Neither could he. Um, yeah, it's best to do this route. You cast a spell, refresh your hero power. <laughs> yeah, so I have to kill this first. Meh. I could just fireball it. Actually, frostbolt would probably be better. One damage to a minion. So yeah, I'm just gonna whack that out there, I think. For Nerubian. Okay. Probably. This fella next. We can probably just try and rush this guy down before he, uh. Yeah, that's a bit more of a worry. Wow. Perfect turn there, sir. Deal 3 damage at a 1 2 elemental to your hand. <laughs> so I can do this. Doesn't really help though. I'm pretty sure fireball on this bad boy is the uh, best way to go here. Hang on, do I have lethal? Three, six. Yeah, I do have lethal. Let's just go lethal then. 
Sometimes I definitely get too far in my own head. It's gonna be like the first step. Do you have lethal on your turn? Alright, we get a treasure now. The Wax Rager Death Rattle resummon this minion. That won't be too bad with permanent stealth because it means um, I kind of, for the most part, get to choose when it dies. Discover a legendary weapon and equip it. Mm. Shoot three fireballs at random enemies and deal eight damage each. That's pretty good. Hmm, kind of torn between these two. Might go Embers of Ragnaros, and hopefully spell damage works on that one. Alright, Heroic Power. Your Hero Power deals one extra damage, that's pretty good. That's another one of those. That's really good as well. Elementals. Mm. Play an elemental last turn, deal three damage to all other minions. Your deck has no duplicates. The next spell you cast is turn cost zero. Add a copy of your opening hand to your hand except this card. Kinda of like these heroic power ones. I'm gonna take those I think. AFK. Ooh, is this one of those? Um, some of the bosses are like trick ones. Like one of them is if you don't damage him at all, he gets some sort of bonus. I can't remember what it was. And he's like constantly trying to damage himself. And I can't remember if this is one or not. Um, these are pretty good, I kind of don't want that right now, and honestly that's kind of high as well, but we'll see. Yeah, pretty rough, that's okay. I can't remember if there's a gimmick with AFK. Alrighty, so we have to beat her in six turns, basically. So we need to get as many minions out on the board as we can. It's gonna be a rough one, I think. Alright, that'll be handy, actually. What turn was that? Three? Be okay here with this hero power stuff. So that was four, so this is five. Hopefully, I'm not counting wrong. Hmm, I got six here. Alright, 
we should be okay. Nothing we can't deal with so far. It's still okay as long as we don't get anything with like taunt. If it even if she even has that. So this one will do 8 damage to what? A random enemy? Cool. That's fine. What was it? Ah, oh, the extra damage from my hero power. Oh no. What a shame. Uh, anyway, we have lethal. Okay. Alrighty, what else do we want? Deal 15 damage to a minion and 3 damage to adjacent ones, that seems excessive. Actually, animated armor with permanent stealth is amazing, your hero can only take 1 damage at a time, I'm most definitely taking that. Alrighty, Mush, Hulkstar, Max. First turn animated armor is amazing, thank you, sir. Honestly, I'm gonna keep all of this. Okay, can't really do anything. There's probably definitely a better way to use those arcane missiles, but I'm honestly not too fast. Oh, that's pretty good. something that um, had damage up that would have been even better Man, that, um, fireballs, what was it? It's a cold. We get animated armor on our first turn, we don't even need it. Cool. These are going way better than the last time I played. Alrighty. Ooh, 
spell damage plus three. Okay, do we want double health for animated armor, or do we want spell damage plus three for arcane missiles and flame geyser, frost bolt? I'm gonna go spell damage right. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Here it takes spell damage, prevents it becoming immune this turn. Secrets can be good. Spell damage plus one. Do I have duplicates yet? thinking, because if I ever draw into Reno, he'd be good with no duplicates. Kazakus. Hmm. Someone two zero two minions with tolls. Well, that's completely useless. One damage to all enemy minions, which would be four damage. That's pretty good. These combo really well with my other ones, though, and my spell damage, but... It kind of gets rid of... The Reno. Which I guess doesn't matter too much, because I'm probably not going to play him. Especially if I'm trying to play, um... Animated Armor. It seems like it's pretty weak, I always want something that combos a bit better. Which should be these ones. Alright, Pathmaker Ham. Oh no, this is the guy with the explosions. Yikes. Is pretty good to be honest. I'm probably just gonna keep those. Um, this doesn't target though, so my stealth doesn't help here. Deal two damage to three random enemies, yeah. Deal six damage or randomly split among all enemies. Hmm, do I want to do that now, or wait until he, um... Early damage. I think we hold it. Deal 5 damage, add 1 to your element onto my hand. Deal 2 damage to 3 random enemies. So it's like 2, 4, 6. <laughs> Basically, as soon as this goes out, it's probably going to die, which kind of sucks. This. Mm -mm -mm. So 
So he'll live. But she'll die. Mm -mm -mm. Do I want this dude out there? If I send that out, he just kills it, so it's pretty useless. Do we just hear her? Mm -mm -mm. Get a bit of health back, he'll take two damage, but he'll live. Ah, maybe. Okay, got a good roll there. Take out the minions, plus one, plus one. That's only a battle cry, right? Yeah, cool. So I'm not too fast about that being there. What can I do here? I can chuck you out, do that for free, chuck you out as well. And then... Some of you live, but not all of you. Potential to have two of our dudes live here. Honestly, her living is pretty good. Never mind. There she goes. Okay, we can create a custom spell here. That might help. Go in. Go fire cost spell. Seven damage to all minions. All minions. Oh, okay, yeah, give me that. Freeze two random enemy minions, gain seven armor. Transform a random enemy minion into a one one sheep. Um, probably the freeze two. That's pretty good. This one just gets annoying because it's a little too RNG. Give your minions plus four health, freeze two random enemy minions. So this would be better if I had more minions to be able to play right now, but. I don't. Do I really want Kazakus out there by himself with? It's probably a waste on just Kazakus, but I'd like to keep some minions on the board. Yeah, cool. Annoying. Um, do I just drop a doomsday here? Honestly, I might just drop a doomsday here. Uh, 
I still take like 8 damage plus. I still take like 10 damage. Oh, my thingies are too high. Uh, let me just wipe them. And put out this fella. Which I kind of might do. He's probably going to die to whatever he summons this rank anyway. This turn, I mean. Cool. Honestly, I wouldn't mind if... Okay, that's pretty good. He has a neat little combo. They, like, boost each other, right? Mmm, very good, very good. Hopefully he doesn't die. Curse you. Gosh darn it. This is why I don't like this dude. It's just RNG. <laughs> nah, annoying. Deal 5 damage to all enemy minions and freeze them. I kinda have to do that, don't I? Mm, you know what, I probably should have put that out as well so whatever he summons just gets wiped again next turn. Six and three is nine. Five and three is eight plus two is ten. There we go. Well, that doesn't count. Okay, cool. Honestly, I'd rather see more of these guys than that. No, this might work. Oh god. Let's see. He gains plus two if I inspire. So one would be seventeen would be nine. Mm -mm -mm. We can hope that kills him. Hang on, let's see, six. Okay, I can't inspire and summon this as well. Definitely need to play this, I think, and wipe. Some of these dudes off the board. Okay, now we win. I love those um, inspire combos, they're quite fun. Okay. Yeah, I'm really not interested in that.
So two cost there for five damage is pretty good. After you cast a spell, deal one damage to a random enemy minion. I'm kind of liking those, to be honest. Let's get unique again. We do Master Vex. He wants to be a troll. He cries for battle and rattles for death. Probably not going to make it too much further, unfortunately. Definitely don't want this. And that's not particularly helpful either. Might keep that just for some late game stuff. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay. Passive hero power. All battle cries and death rattles trigger twice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Five damage to a minion, yeah, that's pretty useless. Spell damage plus one would be good here. Okay, so if we kill that. And we get some of the skelly dudes, which is pretty cool. Do I want to use that to kill that? Not really. I kind of want to keep me spell damage though, also. I mean, he won't die actually, so. How much health did I start with? 45, so. That'll be not that handy yet, but this will give us six health. I'm thinking. Chill and Yeti. Kill that, so we get two skelly dudes. And then we go face. Deal two damage to all characters, okay, so that kind of wipes my board a little bit. Annoying. That's completely useless. Uh, actually, it would be good if I had the dudes with Inspire. <sighs> I'm gonna have to attack that first, that's so annoying. <laughs> That's not a really target. Alright. <laughs> so, because we have to attack this first, because it's got taunt, we have to to unfortunately just suck it up. So we are left with our Yeti and one Enforcer. Hmm, I probably would have been left with another Enforcer had I attacked it with smaller stuff. That probably would have been better.
This guy kind of works here now. That's fun. We need some inspire heroes here. That's pretty good too. That's 16 health right there. Do I? No, but I don't want to have to spend the mana on a turn later. Should probably kill that, but that's fine. We do have a sixteen heal here, which is nice. You again. Amazing. Oh, he's gonna kill my uh, animated armor. Mm, wait, do I have duplicates now? Oh no, I must have duplicates or something. What is it? I guess this maybe. It's a shame. sucks. That damn taunt thing is very annoying. Hmm, that's not good. Gotta try not to kill that, I guess. That's the most useless thing we could have gotten right now. Thank you, sir. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, well, honestly, hang on. Four, two, two hyenas is eight instead of six, so... Yeah, we'll probably leave that alive, I guess. has to be a minion, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, yep, I guess popping these dudes out. Wait, where did you come from? Oh yeah, nice. Forgot about that. Alright, we could be okay here. Oh my god. How many of these dudes do you have, honestly? That's not good. <laughs> mm. Although we have 
no taunts now, so that's good. I don't want to kill that. <sighs> if I do that, I 100% guarantee it's going to kill that. Right. To, he can't summon anything else, right? Or can he? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, sixteen. Can you summon more? It looks like his thing's full. <laughs> Kaboom. Alright, cool. This hasn't been too bad. I didn't really expect to make it to the last boss, to be honest. <laughs> Cast Pyroblast randomly until the hero dies. Now, that could be good if I have animated armor in play. I'm honestly probably going to take that. That I like. Two damage to all minions, six damage. Which should be nine. So all damage to all enemy minions. And a random spell. More inspire. Let's go fire. Alright. Who straws the ancient? Let's see if we can get this uh, Pyroblast animated armor going. Okay, animated armor. Good start, good start, good start. These other two are pretty. Uh, leave a lot to be desired, but. Good start with that minute armor. Okay, what's this? Give your opponent a fantastic treasure. Hmm. Deal one damage to all enemies for missing. Oh, let's not do that then. <laughs> Whew, narrowly avoided that one. Mm, that's annoying. Although, two damage if we get animated armor up as soon as we can, that'll be fine. After you cast a spell, deal one damage to a random minion. Sure. Let's get you up there, froggy boy. <laughs> what? Okay. We want armor. 
actually going to do six damage to a character. Honestly, freezing that thing sounds pretty good. And it won't kill it, so... Take that. You're holding a dragon, discover a copy of a card in your opponent's deck. I bet you got something really good there, didn't you, sir? Lifesteal, on the other hand, is kind of annoying. Alright, here we go. I can't really cast this because it'll probably destroy that and then I'll start taking damage from his power every turn. As long as he can't wipe animated armor, we'll be fine. I have a feeling that he'll have some sort of wipe, you know. And there it is. And he wiped one of his chests, which means his thing is going to start doing damage to him now, I think. Deal 5 damage to all minions. Draw a card, fill your hand with copies of it. Oh, I definitely don't really want that. That sounds terrible. The only way that would have helped me if it was <laughs> animated armor. Oh god, I got rid of my Komodo thing. Okay, so it doesn't count the ones he destroyed, that's cool. We just need to start getting our inspired damage up here because he's basically out healing every damage I do. That helps. Honestly, if we can not destroy anything else, I'm not really scared of either of or any of these. Definitely don't want to do that. Um, I feel like I can sort of maybe save that for when I have more spell damage. need something to like heal him. I need my um, three cost healer. Oh my god, I got a full heal as well. That's pretty good. Do we just... Just keep going face here, right? No reason not to. We desperately, desperately need that Healy boy though. Bit of card draw wouldn't be too bad right now. What are we up to? 10? Yeah, why not? Summon three friendly minions that die this game. That's pretty good. Oh my god, transform all minions into one one sheep. But then I don't get the treasure, and that starts doing damage. Okay, three minions have died. Gain ten armor, draw three cards. Ten armor, three cards. 
Mm -mm -mm. That will do nicely. Big turn next turn, boys. Honestly, animated armor and permanent stealth is my favorite combo in this game. Summon three friendly minions that died this game and draw three cards. I think I'm okay with doing that this time. Okay, what does Pyroblast do exactly? Because now that I've got that. <laughs> Let me just look up Power Blast because I feel like it's more likely to kill me somehow. Deal 10 damage. So, it only has to hit him five times. Power Blast does ton, ten damage. It has to hit me 28 times. Or him five times. Or actually him four times after this. Or do we just do it the non-cheese way? Crap. <laughs> what did you cast? <laughs> oh, you monster. Okay, so I've got a full heal, but eight, twelve. <laughs> Yolo. Maybe I should have attacked with my monster first. Oh my god. <laughs> That's the first time I've beaten Dungeon Run. And it was <laughs> it was all recorded for your benefit. The gods smile upon us today, my friends. I uh that's that's a good way to start the series. Um, hope you never expect to see anything that interesting ever again. That was really fun though. I hope you look forward to more Hearthstone Dungeon Runs in future.
I can finally stop playing with the mage class now. Um, yeah, thanks for joining me. I actually had a blast this evening playing some Hearthstone. And hopefully it's something that you are... You look forward to for future videos. Thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you next time.